Hello, viewers. Uh, today's topic is uh, familial uh, dysautonomia. Uh, so, familial dysautonomia, also known as FD, uh, this is an is a condition that runs in the families. You know, so this is an inherited disorder uh, that affects the uh, nerves throughout the body. You know. Now. It's passed on uh, through the families, you know, and uh, a person uh, must inherit a copy of the defective gene from each parent to develop this condition, you know. And uh, uh, it occurs most often in people of uh, Eastern European and uh, Jewish uh, uh, ancestry, you know. Uh, and uh, it's caused uh, by a change to a gene, you know, and it's rare in general population. And the symptoms. Uh, if someone uh, affects uh, affect, is affected, you know, so uh, this condition affects the nerves uh, in an autonomic uh, nervous system, you know, and uh, these nerves manage uh, daily body functions such as the blood pressure or heart rate or uh, sweating or bowel and uh, blood emptying or digestion and uh, senses, you know. Uh, so these nerves uh, who are controlling these activities uh, are mostly affected. And the symptoms uh, uh, are present at birth and uh, may grow worse over the time, you know. And the symptoms vary and uh, those may include like uh, swallowing problems in infants, you know, and uh, uh, breath holding spells uh, resulting in fainting, you know, constipation and diarrhea or inability to feel pain or changes in the temperature, you know. And uh, these uh, conditions can lead to the injuries, you know, and dry eyes and lack of tears when crying. Uh, poor coordination and unsteady walk, you know, seizures and uh, unusually smooth, pale tongue surface and a lack of taste buds and uh, decrease in the sense of taste, you know. So these are the common symptoms uh, uh, for uh, this uh, uh, familial dysautonomia, you know. And I, if suspected, your doctor will perform the physical examination and after the physical examination, um, he will look like uh, absence of decreased deep uh, tender flexes, you know, and uh, he will also look uh, for the lack of response after receiving uh, any uh, histamine injection, you know, and uh, uh, lack of tears with crying, you know, and uh, he may notice like a low muscle tone or most often in babies, you know, and uh, uh, severe curving of the spine and uh, the tiny pupils after receiving the certain eye drops, you know. So he will note these kind of the, um, uh, uh, symptoms, you know, uh, just to diagnose the uh, this condition. Uh, now the blood tests are also available uh, to check the gene mutation that causes the uh, familiar dysautonomia, you know. Now, this cannot be cured, uh, but the treatment uh, uh, the target is to managing the symptoms and uh, the, which may include like medicines to help prevent seizures you know and now feeding a in an uh, upright position and uh, giving a, a textured formula to prevent a gastroesophageal reflux you know and measures to prevent low blood pressure you know and medicines to control vomiting and medicines to prevent dry eyes and physical therapy of the chest you know and measures to protect against injuries you know are providing enough nutrition and fluids, you know, and, and uh, if there is a, a spinal fusion to treat uh, the spine problems, you know, and uh, uh, treating the aspiration pneumonia, you know. So these are the different kind of treatment options available. Uh, uh, it depends on the symptom, you know, and uh, the treatment will be accordingly to control that symptom. And now, Advances in diagnosis and treatment are increasing the survival rate and about half of the babies born with this condition will live up to the age of 30 on average, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you.